the fans. I mean, Padres fans have shown up, and I've said this before, this isn't the first time, but Padres fans, you have shown up every game. Has every game been a sold out, a sellout? No. Not every game has been a sellout, but every game has probably had like at least 30,000 people there. And there's been, I think, 60, 61 maybe, around 60 sellouts this season in 79 home games. Because remember, there were two games in Mexico City. And it was another pretty packed crowd today. The Padres have been, I think, out of it. I, I know they went on this win streak, this eight-game win streak. But I feel like this team has been out of it now for weeks. And we've known that this season was over for weeks. But... Padres fans continued to show up when this Padres team probably didn't really deserve it. They they didn't deserve all these sellout crowds. The way that they were playing, they didn't deserve that. The Padres fans continued to show up. And I think that's a that, that's a moment where we should cheer and give a uh, an ovation give an ovation to us. Really. I mean that's what it that's what it comes down to. Um over 3.2 million fans, I believe, is the number that I heard Sammy Levitt say on the post-game show today when I was driving home. 3.2 million over over that. And Bob Melvin, shout out to him. I mean, he has obviously been through a lot this season, but what I saw from him today after the game was one of those small memories that I probably won't forget in a while. I mean. I compare it to, uh, it's two different situations, but last year after the Padres clinched a postseason spot and you had Will Myers in that same spot where Bob Melvin was applauding to the fans before he left the clubhouse. And then in a totally different situation, obviously last year was joy, but this season, Padres' last home game of 2023, you know there's not going to be another one this season. No postseason. And Bob Melvin's there, and you know, I I looked at Manny before Bo Mel came. I saw Manny, and he didn't stop. He didn't clap to the fans, at least from what I saw, um, at all. And he may have acknowledged them a little bit, but he, he wasn't. He didn't stand there and clap to the fans, and stop and clap like Bob Melvin did. And he was walking off, stopped, clapped, gave an applause. Two Padres fans there were that, that were uh, above the Padres dugout, and uh, that obviously immediately made me think: like, does he know that this is it for him? Does he think that this is it from him? Not because of his own like decision, but because AJ Preller or the San Diego Padres are going to decide to move on from him, or is he just doing it out of the the, the good of his own heart? Uh, because he knows, as he has said previously that Padres fans are the MVP of this 2023 season. It's not a player. It's the fans because we have continued to show up. Padres fans, you continued to show up even through the uh, the difficult times, you know? Um, but yeah, that, that's a moment where it's like, thank you, Bob, for for doing that, for, for recognizing the fans. It's not, not a huge moment. You know, some might say, oh, it's meaningless. Who cares about if, uh, if they acknowledge the fans, whatever. But I thought that was a pretty cool moment that he stopped uh, just for a couple seconds, just stopped before he went into the dugout and gave applause, gave an applause, uh, an ovation uh, to the fans for showing up because he knows that this is it this season. He might be back in 2024, but he might not be. Um, but Bob, I mean, my thought from there, obviously, about the future, but also is like, Man, this dude does not deserve to be let go here. Like, he knows how awesome it is to have this consistent support because of what he had to go through with Oakland, right? And he still made it to the playoffs pretty consistently with the Oakland A's. Like, considering the resources that they had or the lack thereof, uh, the lack of payroll, the lack of buy in from the owner, um, he was successful with the Oakland A's. And then he comes here. Oakland A's, in comparison, obviously, a lot of empty seats. Not A's fault, uh, not the A's fans' fault, but because like the team doesn't care about the fans, obviously. Um, and 
you know, the stadium's old as heck. Uh, but he comes to San Diego and it's packed all the time. And so he definitely appreciates that. And he he knows that, you know, the fans were the MVP of this season. Um, but yeah, again, it was just a, it was a cool moment. And Padres fans, you deserve that applause from Bob Melvin. You deserve that thanks by other Padres players in the organization. Um, because you could have stopped showing up. And maybe some Padres fans did stop showing up. And they were like, I'm done with this. And I know a lot of these fans were season ticket holders, right? Like over 20,000 every game, I think, were season ticket holders. So that left a portion of the crowd not being season ticket holders. But most of them were season ticket holders. Um, but still, season ticket holders showed up. Fans showed up. Those that didn't have or that weren't Padres members, you all continued to show up. Um, so, yeah, I can't say enough. I can't say enough about the Padre fans' support this season. And that's not about support for like my show or anything like that. That's just support for the team and continuing to show up. Now, I can talk about support for my show, and I'll definitely talk about that here for a minute or two. Like, man, I think I said this on a previous show, but it definitely, definitely means a lot uh, for the kind comments at the ballpark, people that run into me and, you know, notice me and, um, you know, say what's up, love your stuff, keep going. Um, those in the comments that are always there, like win or loss, we might disagree on some things, but you're always there. Um, it's awesome. And that's what, you know, can keep me going too, because there's some shows, and I'm not going to mention them by name or anything. There's some channels, that some people that say that they're there every day with you, you know, giving you content, giving you their thoughts every day after every game and all that. But that's not true. They're not there after every game not that's not true if you go look back this season they weren't there after every game but i took pride in that and the season's not over but i'm just saying that i take pride in being there like manny does in posting right i take pride in being there uh for padres fans whether i feel like doing it or not um it, it's not this isn't this doesn't feel like a job but there are some nights this season where it's like man that was a really bad performance. Another loss. I mean, what do you want me to say after this? You know, it's the same thing. But I knew that there were people out there that enjoy listening or watching my stuff. And so I felt like I, you know, I owe it to you. You're giving me your time. Um, and so I definitely owe it back to you guys, all of you, uh, to give you back mine and continue to put stuff out every day. Uh, I believe... You can correct me if I'm wrong somewhere in the comments, but I believe before every single day that the Padres played a game, on that day, I did pregame thoughts, found a way to do it so far this season. Season's not over, but so far, every day, and postgame reaction on the day that the Padres played after every game at some point. Some weren't as long, some were longer, but I want to be there for you, and I, I hopefully you guys realize like, that's just me. I just want to appreciate you all for being here. That's, that's really what it is. Um, and we're all, we all have the same goal, right? We want to see a Padres world series title before we die. Right. Some are much older than me and they're like, man, this is, this, it, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. It, it's getting there. Um, but hold in there, you know, try to keep the faith. I'm going to, I'm going to have the faith going into next year. I know this year, I stopped having it because it's not like they gave me a reason to have a bunch of faith, right? Uh, and this winning streak happened really late in the year. Um, and I thought that, yeah, I mean, there's just too much stuff that was going to have to go the Padres way, um, that it just wasn't going to happen. But next year's a new year. They start 0-0. They're going to have a talented roster in 2024. And I would just say, keep showing up, keep showing the support. Uh, keep the faith and one of these years it's going to happen and these these failures it's just going to make it that much sweeter right that oh wow uh we finally did it right i mean last year i know they didn't make it to the world series but beating the dodgers in the nlds making it to the nlcs making the postseason getting to see that at petco park live them clinching a spot um you know, definitely being emotional, obviously, as everyone saw in that video after the Padres beat the Dodgers in the NLDS. Uh, you know, some are going to joke about that and be like, that's your World Series. 
it was the NLDS, but um, there's been a lot of years, not like this where it's been like massive disappointment because of the talent on the team, but just a lot of years like this where it ends in no postseason appearance, right? Nothing, nothing, no October baseball, um, and it sucks. And watching the postseason this year, which I'm going to do, obviously, and watch every game because I'm a baseball fan, it's going to suck not seeing the Padres because that was the team that we expected to be there. We were like, oh, playoffs? Of course they're going to be in the playoffs, like at minimum. But that's the, the beauty or the, the sucky thing about baseball, right? It's not played on paper. You got to go play the games. It's every day. It's not once a week. It's not just once on Sunday. It's every week. And you got to show up. You got to do your job consistently. Not not for 17 times. No, you got to do it for over 100 times, 150 times. You got to show up consistently. Um, and the Padres, you know, with the talent on this team, we thought that they were going to do that. They just out-talent some teams, and they just weren't able to do that. But, again, I feel like their time is going to come. I just wanted to give my thanks to you guys, the fans, um, just for, you know, supporting the Padres. and obviously supporting the channel here. So again, thank you so much for that.